You had questions, and I have answers. So let us begin. Well, I started playing music uh, when I was 16 years old. I robbed a concession stand and stole a slushy machine and uh, got arrested. Because of that, I was put on house arrest for about half a year, and so I had a lot of free time. So during that time, I learned how to play guitar, and eventually I started writing my own songs. To this day, getting arrested for stealing that slush machine was the best thing that ever happened to me. Whenever I'm trying to write a song or think up some lyrics, I try to think of a concept that hasn't really been sung about before or hasn't been sung about from a certain point of view. So sometimes whenever I hear love songs, uh, the, the subject will be about how someone is so in love with so-and-so. And, uh, and instead of writing songs like that, I try to write songs about maybe why that person is so in love. Not really what it is about this other person that they find so attractive, but what inside of them actually makes them need that love so much. So I try to apply that same type of thinking, like take the extra dimension and, um, and put that to these concepts. I think that everything deserves to have a song written about it, even if it's not the most comfortable song to listen to but it's very important to at least get that point of view out there. There's an old saying that jack of all trades, but a master of none. That's kind of how I am with instruments, where I can play almost any instrument, but to a very small degree, just enough to suit my needs. Whenever I hear something in my head, I'll learn how to play the instrument enough to play the part that I'm hearing. So let's see, there's the piano, guitar, ukulele, slide guitar, banjo, harmonica, melodica. If you don't know what that is, definitely look it up. A little bit of the accordion. There's a lot of different instruments. I can't really remember them all though. The first couple of songs that I ever wrote are pretty embarrassing to listen to now. They're overly emotional and poorly written. But um, over the years, I think that I interpreted one of these early songs kind of changed the music and changed the lyrics and beefed it up a little more. And that ended up becoming my song, Poor Narrator. So Poor Narrator is really a reflection of the first song that I ever wrote, just slightly better. I have a couple of early recordings that um, I'll upload and put on my website. I'll put a link in the description so you guys can go visit it and hear all these old half-assed songs. I've always been a fan of people like Tom Waits, Bob Dylan, and Randy Newman, and uh, most artists from the early 1900s, mainly because they have a really American roots way of playing, and uh, they, they revive all these folk songs that normally would be forgotten if it wasn't for them revamping them. You know, a lot of what these guys showed me was that there are zero bounds to the subject matter of a song. You can be as weird as you actually are and still make good music that reflects that. So there was very many a drunken nights at parties where I would play five finger fillet and of course stab my fingers and bleed all over someone's table and everyone would be like, oh, Rusty Cage, you're crazy. You know, you're too crazy. And uh, of course that was a lie. But uh, one night I, I got a visit uh, from the God of Knives and, and what the God of Knives said to me, he said, Rusty, I need a blood sacrifice and... I want a song as well. So of course I wasn't willing to sacrifice too much of my own blood. Uh, so I wanted to think of a way that I could get people all around the world to sing a song, play with knives, and then sacrifice their blood to the God of Knives. Um, thus the Knife Game song was born. But I never would have expected that this would be the first staple of my musical career. Unfortunately, I don't really have much advice for young aspiring musicians trying to get into the business, mainly because I'm not really in the business. I'm also a young and aspiring musician, so my words of wisdom are very limited. All I would say is don't play shitty music unless you want to, and there's plenty of originality out there for the taking, so do something that hasn't been done a thousand times. I don't know. How the hell would I know? Well, I've always been under the impression that my sweet old grandmother likes songs about there not being a god or the human centipede just as much as I do. 
So hopefully they're proud. When I'm not making music, I like to learn how to cheat at cards, draw grotesque pictures, and contemplate the sad nature of humanity. Well, seeing that we are three-dimensional observers with a very limited understanding of time, it's hard to truly say. But with relativity and time dilation set aside, uh, I have been around the sun more than 23 times. Well, religion has always been a fascination of mine, and I try to incorporate it into a lot of my songs' subject matter. But anyone can make up a set of beliefs and call it a religion. But uh, if it doesn't have any supporting evidence, I try to refrain from subscribing to it. There's plenty of amusing things out there in the world to focus on. So why make up stories to answer our questions whenever we can find them with reality? If there was ever a gospel for science, it would definitely be written by the great Carl Sagan. I don't know why, but uh, I've never really wanted to discuss my tattoos with my family or friends, uh, probably because there's no real reason why I got them in the first place. I have them and I like them for one reason or another, but they're there for personal amusement and their meaning is not really worth talking about. The stickbird image is just a logo that I made up to represent my music. So it can mean whatever the music means to you. Whether you like it or not, that's what the symbol means. Maybe just let it represent an appreciation for the weird and abnormal aspects of life. Well, in all honesty, I'm just a sociopathic asshole with an inflated sense of self-grandeur and a sick sense of humor. You had questions. These are the answers.